hello everyone you're welcome back to my channel anyways today i'm going to be showing you how i refresh box braids um on the day i made these braids i ought to have gone to the salon but i was feeling quite lazy and if you know me i hate salon trips i hate people touching my hair i had some hair extensions at home so i decided to do um diy jumbo braids jumbo box braids um so far so good here's what the hair is looking like it had quite some frizz because i didn't trim the hair on the night i made it it was late into the night there was work the next morning and i was rushing but um guys don't worry as i'm doing my refreshing i'm going to be showing you how i did the installation so you could work with that okay so first things first i grabbed some cotton wool and i just soaked that in methylated spirit which you can get at your local pharmacy and with that i just apply the methylated spirit on the scalp and the roots of my hair this i do to clear up any product build up and as i'm going along i try to focus on um, problem areas like itchy areas or areas where i feel like a lot of product has been applied now a lot of people would advise against using methylated spirit on the scalp this is because it excessively dries out the hair they would rather advise the use of apple cider vinegar some dry shampoo or some other method well for me i personally hate the smell of apple cider vinegar and i'm not too comfortable with leaving shampoos in my hair i also didn't feel like doing a proper wash in the shower which is why i opted for the methylated spirit i also like the cooling effect that the methylated spirit has on my scalp and how it helps to resolve itchiness be sure to change the cotton pads as you go along while cleaning your entire scalp also focus on your problem areas like i earlier mentioned I'll be redoing the braids at the front of my hair and also the ones along the side part. So here I'm just sectioning off, um, trying to identify all the braids that I'm going to be redoing. Every time I get braids, I always tell myself I'm going to style it a million different ways, but it's a lie. I always end up doing the side part. So because I want to have this in for about a week or two, I'm just going to refresh um, the braids along the side part because that's how I'm going to be styling the hair anyways. After doing that, you're going to put the rest of the hair away and I'm securing that with a scrunchie, as you can see. To speed things up, I've gone ahead to loosen the braids off camera and I have also redone the plates on my natural hair. So I'm just going to be showing you guys how I did this. I did the tuck method for this box braid so I'm going to be weaving the hair to its full length. Um, I'm just going ahead to comb that out and then I grab some edge control. Your regular favorite edge control will do. I grab, I put some edge controls at the tip of my finger and apply that to the base of the hair. Making sure to smooth that out so that I can get a nice clean plate. I'm going in with a rat tail comb to get some extra smoothness and then I'm going to be doing the plate. I'm applying some got to be glued blast spray for some extra hold because my kinks are very stubborn. This will keep the hair neat and then I'm just brushing that as it dries. Next I grab my crochet needle and my hair extension. The hair extension that I use for this project is Lush Hair. It's two-toned and it comes pre-picked so I didn't have to do any cutting and picking. I just applied some hair cream and brushed it out for smoothness. A list of the products used will be in the description box below. So I just grab some hair extension and I insert the crochet needle into the base of my hair. I also have to make sure that the hair extension is thick enough to cover the strand of my hair and also thin enough to fit into the hook of the crochet needle. 
I fold the hair extension in half and then I just kind of roll the middle and then I fit it into the hook of the crochet needle and I close the latch then I'm going to pull one end of the extension through my hair and here I'm just going ahead to ensure that the extension is thick enough to cover my hair because I'm going to be tucking in the length of my hair Next I grab some more extensions, slightly thicker than the one I'd used at first and because I'm reusing my old extension, I'm just using my hands to smoothen it out. Then I fold that in half and place that over the base of my hair. Then I can start my braiding. As I braid the hair, I'm also making sure that my natural hair is neatly tucked in between the extension so that it doesn't peek through the length of the braids. I prefer this method because I don't like the look of my kinky natural hair peeking through the length of my braids. I don't know, it's just, I, I don't know, <laughs> I just don't like it. So that is why I opted for this top method, that way my hair is neatly tucked out of sight and besides this is a protective style so the braids help to protect my natural hair from um, damage so I take my time to weave the extension all the way down and then I finish that off with a twist if only I could be this fast in reality <laughs> So for emphasis, I'm going to be doing another braid and I'm just going to slow it down just so you can better see how I achieved my box braids. This was how I installed the braids in the first place and this is the same method I'm using to refresh my braids. So yes, after inserting the piece of extension into the hair, you want to make sure that the extension is thick enough to cover the length of the hair and then you go in with a slightly thicker extension to begin your braids. Like I earlier said, you fold the extension in half and then you place the center at the base of your hair. Then you bring the right side under and then the left side under that and it's crisscross from there. Be sure to tuck your natural hair in between the extension as you go along. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish up the rest of the hair off camera. After I was done with the individual braids, the only thing I did was to trim the length of the braids with a scissors. I'm sorry I couldn't film this part because I was filming with daylight and by the time I was done with the braids, it was already dark and I couldn't continue filming. So it's the next day and I'm getting ready to leave for work. Remember that we had applied methylated spirit to the hair which is excessively drying so we're just going to go ahead and restore moisture back to the hair. Firstly we're going in with Cantu's leave-in conditioner with argan oil. I have this on the tips of my finger and I'm just applying this to the base of the hair and the scalp. You want to apply this all over the hair because we applied methylated spirit all over the hair. Please do not forget your edges. After that, I'm spritzing some coconut oil to my scalp to seal in all that moisture. You also want to do this to the entire scalp. 
and the base of your hair as well. Lastly, I'll be applying some hair mousse to curb frizz and to give it some shine and then I'll style as per usual and that will be it. So here is the final result. I would say it looks pretty decent. I can still have this in for about a week or two. My scalp is clean, my hair looks nice and I'm loving it. So guys, if you found this tutorial helpful, um, please don't forget to like it, give it a thumbs up, share, comment, let me know what you think and I'll be expecting your feedback. Bye guys!